we are in a in a strange place, you know, in a, in a strange place in 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 the corona corona lockdown, you know. Mm -hmm. That 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 would be the okay. opening. Okay. That would be the opening here. Yeah. President Klaus, thank you very much for taking time talking to us. Thank you, thank you for coming to us. First of November 2020, um, you know, we are in a, in a very uh, special environment. We are here in a, another lockdown uh, on a global scale, partially certain countries still in a lockdown since March. I mean, mm. have you ever thought that this situation they're in could be, it could happen like this? Well, probably, probably. I am afraid that no one could imagine that uh, something similar could happen. Nevertheless, when it started in, in March, you know, we already saw that there are very powerful forces who are interested in strengthening the restrictions, in continue, continuing various lockdowns and uh, in this respect I think we can imagine what will go on. So, I mean, you know, if somebody would have said eight months ago that they can lock down the whole economy, we would have laughed. Probably, probably, but now it's already the history. You know, we already live for eight months in a more or less crazy, crazy world and, and in this respect one thing goes after another, uh, rather in a in a in a quasi rational rational process. So I am afraid that we are not at the end of the story. We can imagine very easily that the governments all over the world will will go on and introduce new measures which will be devastating to the economy and to the to the atmosphere in societies. So would you say that? The new normal, that's the beginning of the new normal already, or how could you...? Yeah, I, I, I know the term new normal, uh, suggesting that there will never be the old normal. Yeah. That's probably true. We have, we have shifted the society somehow, and we are at a new level. Okay, one, to call it new normal is one potential terminology to yeah. be used. So what is it? Does it lead to a full nationalization of the economy at the end of the day? I mean, when government are interfering. Uh, well, I, I don't think that nationalization is the, is the story. At least, at least, definitely not the nationalization in the old uh, style on the for, for old form. You know, um, I don't think that the governments will nationalize the economy as it was done uh, 70 years ago in in uh, my. Czechoslovakia at that time, you know, but it's sufficient to radically increase restrictions, prohibitions, um, necessary conditions, subconditions, standards, and that's the f new form of nationalizing the economy. Yeah, I mean, all those measures at the end of the day, you know, when you look at social distancing, self-quarantine, uh, governments decide certain businesses are essential, others are not essential. Well, uh, you, see, you, you mentioned the term social distancing, yeah. which is a really new, new formula, formula, new formulation. You know, we in, in, in the communist era, we understood the, the logic of the, of the communist system and the logic was to practically liquidate as much as possible horizontal relations. Horizontal relations in the economy, um, among firms, among, among enterprises, and uh, horizontal relations among people. You know, the, the everyone, everything will, has to be done from one place to the top and back to the back low. So the horizontal vertical relations were the only sort of allowed, not horizontal relations. And th this is the way how we describe communism and the structure of communist society. And uh, now the whole idea of a distance, social distancing is another form of, of uh, breaking the horizontal, re horizontal relations among people. And this is the way to fragmentation of society, 
to atomization of society. And I, I think this is one of the main issues not, not sufficiently discussed in our societies these days. So could you explain that a little more about the importance of horizontal relations? You know, in, in, in a communist system, a communist system really wanted to separate us. To, to, it was not called social distancing, but practically it was the same idea and the same logic. To not to let us go together to talk and potentially to prepare a, a revolution to, to destroy communism. So, yeah. so the idea was to make to keep us separate as much as possible. And uh, that, that's the substance of the system, uh, of the communist system or of any totalitarian system. And we are really dangerously approaching a new totality. So what do you think? I mean, now the second lockdown has started. We heard, you know, I mean, Italy, you already have riots. We see it, you know, lockdown in France, lockdown in the UK. Um, how, you know, do you think are we ever going out of this lockdown again, or is it just going to be enforced? <laughs> well, I, I am absolutely sure that uh, this this uh, epidemic, so pandemic, so, uh, is is really a temporary issue. There, the, this this pandemic will be over sooner or later. But uh, but uh, those manipulators of our societies uh, learned a lot, pr tried to 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 try what, what the society can accept and what not. And so in this respect, it's a dangerous precedent. So you're saying it's much more about fear and control than... Uh fear and control. And uh, to, to, to distribute fear is, uh, is also a very successful instrument how to, how to suppress people. And when you look at social distancing, so human interaction becomes a medical uh, problem. Yeah. It's a medical threat, a health threat. I mean, this is, as you said, you know, it's really destroying so society as such. Social distancing, or to put it in another terminology, uh, to eliminate uh, the inter interplay of of, uh, of of free citizens. Yeah. Uh, that's really the issue of the day. And this is what we feel very strongly about. We, um, we could you give me that book, Fas? We we recently published a book about uh, re uh, reacting to what has been going on in the United States of America. Yeah. And we call the book "Self Destruction of the West." You know, and this is definitely one of the of the sub stories of that self self destruction of the West and I, I'm afraid that the West still doesn't take it, doesn't, uh, doesn't seriously uh, behave, uh, works with this topic. So we, we feel it very strongly because of our oversensitivity, which was the result of the communist experience, something which the people in, in, the, in, the, in Switzerland, in the, in the United States didn't have. So you are saying it's it's basically a war against Western civilization. It's a war against the uh, achievements of enlightenment, meaning free speech, capitalism as a as a as a market, it's free markets, private Definitely. property, Definitely. family, and also the belief system. I, I think Christianity, you know, self responsibility, and this the man is born free. Exactly. Is this exactly. We can add additional characteristics of that, but more or less, this was a good summary. So, I mean, what do you think now when you look into your home country? How much damage has already been done? Do we, do we, can we escape from this situation? Or is well, the damage is definitely on the one hand of people, some people uh, being ill and some people dying. This is definitely a damage which no one should underestimate. Nevertheless, uh, the damage which has been done is much more broader, much broader, you know, uh, to, to, to stop the economy, to, 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 to destroy the normally functioning uh, government budget, you know, to, in, to start huge deficits which will be, will be left 
to the, our not just children but uh, but uh, ch children children. Yeah. So this is something what I feel as a former minister of finance. I feel very strongly about. So I mean, you know, over the last few years we have heard a lot of. Uh, news or old series being promoted mm -hmm. like the modern monetary theory the universal basic income um, does that fit into that picture all those ideas modern monetary theory and um, <coughs> guaranteed incomes and so on this is something which uh, we more or less um, experienced in the communist era so we feel very strongly about it and uh, uh, we wanted really to reintroduce uh, the the connection between uh, human activity uh, human achievements and hum and the income you know yeah. something which was uh, interrupted in the communist era and we, we see that the same stupid communist idea has been returning to us under a different slightly different name but uh, but in a new closing you know. tragic tragic this is something good i would say i i 30 years ago in the moment of our velvet revolution of the fall of communism this is something i must say i didn't expect i think we have all been i mean i never thought that something like this is possible and when you mentioned the lack of uh, uh, the suppression of liberty, this booklet of ours, of ours uh, demonstrate that. And we have the globe and the mask on it. So that's the, that's the, the whole idea of, of, the, of what is going on here. Not just here in this country, but all over the world. So this, is, this was our very early contribution to the debate about that in the in this Czech Republic. I mean, I remember that we made uh, an interview together beginning of April, so when everything started. And um, I remember that you were saying, what, did, what can we do to get out of this uh, crisis? Uh, and you were saying, you know, people should say no to everything. What is your, you know, few months are down the road? Well, I think the, the, uh, the same recommendation is valid, so the people should say no. But uh, I am afraid that um, since that time the people are more frustrated, more, more, af more afraid. They accepted the, the widely distributed fear. Yeah. And so I, I think that the, the people are now weaker than they used to be eight months ago. This is one important conclusion which should be drawn. I mean, if you think about I mean, the sound backbone, I, I'm, I'm a Swiss, so the sound backbone of course was always small business owners, small mid-sized companies, um, you know, the restaurant owners, the one who has a bar, uh, the one that employs two, three people. And now, of course, with these rules and regulations, it's, imp I mean, it's a direct attack on the smaller guys, which always have been, you know, the, the ones independent of government, a bit more you know, critical when, when it comes to government. When, when you say attack, it's much more. Attack is imp implicitly something which is just now starting, yeah. but it has already happened. Yeah. So the attack has been already achieved and achieved and done and uh, and we are beyond that the those those small businesses were all over europe more or less killed you know that that's the real issue of the day and how to how to re return and how to go back to the old situation it would take years decades not just months or weeks i mean I know you are also knowing about cycles. Everything is operating in cycles. And, you know, we have long-term debt cycles, 50-year even mentioned in the in the Bible. We have the short-term debt cycles, generational cycles, 80 years. I mean, have you ever? Do you find those interesting? Or? Well, definitely, there are cycles uh, in in human activities, but 
but um, I am a practical man and I am an economist and politician who, who really doesn't dream about utopias and about uh, something in the, in the future. So I am interested in something, uh, something what is visible. Yeah. I am not that much interested in how the world uh, will, would look like uh, in 2120. You know, this is this beyond yeah. my capacity of thinking. Because I, as an economist, I, I am, I know what what the discount rate means, and I know that the discount rate uh, radically discounts the future and. Uh, I am afraid that we are not able to say anything meaningful about the, the world 100 years from now. So I mean, those. So, so what um, what lessons have you learned that you think could help people today? Learn. What lessons? Lessons. You know, the the people should oppose. Uh, the people should oppose all kinds of governments restrictions and this is this is the only this is the only uh, lesson which we have learned from from the history and uh, especially which we have learned from our communist era that that's it i think that's a that's very strong a, that's a very strong uh, ending that's very strong ending thank, thank so, you very much okay 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 so let's. That's fine for the. That's fine.